Hola! Today we're traveling to Mexico, the land of flavors, and we're bringing on a wonderful, really easy and tasty recipe. That's the cheese and minced beef quesadilla. So if you're ready, let's get started. You have all the ingredients in the description. Now the first thing we're doing is carefully chopping our onion. Now we're doing the same thing for the pepper. We remove all the seeds and once you have it clean, again as with the onion, let's cut it very small. I use this little thing to crush the garlic. I try to put a lot because I love it. And then we're going to use cheddar cheese. You can mix both types. As you can see here, the lighter and the darker color. We grate it. And now we prepare our spices. We mix first of all oregano, we add some paprika, we put some chili flakes and some cumin, which will make it extra pungy. We mix it all together. And now we prepare the pan, a little bit of olive oil, the garlic, the onion. Then we add the pepper and the minced beef. Now it's time to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. After this, we add the tomato paste, or you can use tomato sauce, whatever you have at hand, and our mixture of spices. Mix it all together nicely, and then let's add some water. And yeah, let's just simmer it a little bit. Once it's consumed, we're preparing the uh, tortilla bread. We brush off a little bit of uh, olive oil on the side. We turn it around and we prepare a half. The first layer is going to be some cheddar cheese. Second layer is the ground beef mixture. Now we add the coriander. We have some ground one, but you can use fresh one. And then a very recommendable second layer of cheddar cheese. We close it and we repeat the procedure for the second tortilla. We put them together. Please remember to use a low fire, not to burn. And after a couple of minutes or so, it's time to turn it around with the help of a plate and see. Now brown and crispy, we want to have the same for the other side. There you go. And that's down, nice and easy and looking beautiful, super tasty, especially if you have it with some guacamole on the side, it's mwah, delicious. So we hope you enjoyed the recipe, buen provecho, and enjoy. Adiós.